So today I'm just going to show you some cool tricks with the camera modifier and uh, particle system. And we're going to create this type of animation. It's very simple to do. So I'm just going to start by creating a emitter, particle emitter, like that. And I'm just going to play it back so we get some particles. Now next I'm going to create a matrix object. And the matrix object is basically a cloner, but um, instead of these being objects, they're simply position data. And what that uh, lets us do is it basically allows us to um, add modifiers to the matrix. So I'm just going to go to uh, matrix, set the mode to object like this, and drag and drop the emitter. So, so we've basically got a matrix object attached to the particles like that. Next I'm going to create a cloner and I'm going to go to object mode again and I'm going to drag and drop the matrix. I need to give the cloner an object so I'm just going to create a sphere, make it a child and reduce the radius like this. And now we've got a cloner attached to the matrix which is attached to the emitter. So uh, what's the advantage of doing this? Basically um, we can add deformers to the matrix so if I add a twist modifier to the matrix like this. Uh, I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees holding down shift. That's close enough. I'm just going to extend it like this. Add some twists. So if I play this back we basically get this uh, kind of twirly effect So some people might ask, well, why can't you put the twist modifier directly into the cloner? That's because um, it basically deforms the geometry. So if I put this twist modifier below the cloner in the same group, as you can see, slide those, uh, we kind of get the effect we want, but the geometry is all messed up. But uh, if we put it in the matrix, it's nice and uh, preserved, the geometry. So that's basically why you would use a matrix object. So we've also got this really interesting deformer called the camera modifier. And uh, it gives us this grid. And what we need to do is we need to create a camera for the scene. And I'm just going to look through the camera. Just click this icon here. So now we're looking through the camera. And uh, that's a camera deformer. So I need to drag and drop camera one into the camera deformer here like that. Now I'm going to put the camera deformer in the matrix object like that. So I'm just going to turn back on the matrix object so we can see everything. I'm going to get rid of twist and I'm going to hide, uh, no I'll just leave it. Okay so I'm going to come to the camera modifier and right click Oops, actually I'm going to go to point mode like this, right click, and go to magnet. So we get this magnet tool. Uh, I'm just going to reduce the radius because it's massive. So that's our magnet tool. Now what we can do is we can basically adjust this mesh. Um, just need to click away. We can basically, it's like a liquify tool in Photoshop. And we can kind of uh, influence this uh, particle path and you'll notice that the geometry isn't actually uh, touched it's only the position data we're influencing so if I play this back you can see it's kind of behaving in a quite a strange way when it gets to this bit here so this can be very handy for uh, creating kind of organic looking um, effects or maybe just refining the existing uh, particle animation and just giving it a little bit of uh, kind of uh, randomness. Uh, we can maybe lower it here like that. Make it go up here. Stretch it out here like that. I'm just going to turn off the grid. Just look at the pure animation. 
turn off the matrix objects as well, like that. And that's it. So basically, using no spline paths whatsoever, we managed to create this really uh, quite a complicated uh, animation to do in something like 3D Studio Max. But in Cinema 4D, it just took us a few minutes. So uh, that's the end of this tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.